Hey guys, and welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're gonna to be doing some adventuring. So, I hope you guys are ready. So right off the bat, I wanted to test out something. Can I take this mending book and apply it to our rocket aglet? Okay, looks like we can. That's, that's actually pretty cool. So we can actually apply that, and hopefully I don't break it in the process of flying up there. That would be awful. But what I can do is now that this needs a little bit of repair, I should be able, I wonder if I can just stand here. It completely fixed it. One, okay, one glob. It it actually, okay, any of these items that are in our offhand here can then, I guess, be repaired that way. That's awesome. So that mending went right towards the rockets, which means we do need to keep an eye on it and, and we can potentially put unbreaking on there as well. I really need to get a hold of Unbreaking. So today I wanna to do some more exploring. I've actually covered a very small portion of our world. This is hardly anything, right? However, there are a lot of villages and along my route to find these villages, I do want to um, use some Silk Touch and gather some bookshelves. That'll be just a quick and easy way to get some bookshelves. Um, but I also would love to find a terracotta biome. Also, there's a pyramid over here that we need to explore that I haven't had the chance to do. So I think today would be a great day to do that and uh, hopefully get our hands on some really good loot that we could use later on. That would be really nice. By the way, I also wanted uh, to show this. I did go ahead and build this farm over here because I wanted to test out whether or not um, those, uh, those custom iron golems would spawn in an actual village because they're not spawning over here. And apparently it's some kind of, I don't know, I even looked in the mod itself and it, it doesn't even seem like there's a reason for them to be spawning in the first place in these biomes. So um, I don't quite know, uh, but it would be nice if they did spawn like every now and then over here. But this one's also producing quite a bit as well. Actually, I, I do believe that this farm is actually more efficient than the farm over here. This is Doc's, uh, Doc M7's. I think he, he built this in 1.14 uh, version of Minecraft. Um, and this has just a couple of modifications from his video, but you can probably, I'm guaranteed when you search like 1.14 uh, Iron Golem Farm, this is the one that you would get. And this one's the one that I've built over and over again. Like this is tried and true. It's got three villagers on each side and you have your zombie right here. Of course, it's super easy. And look, we had two of them just spawn there. So I think the more villagers you have that can see this, the more likely there are to, to spawn larger groups of iron golems because this farm is really quick. I mean, um, I used it in my last playthrough and we could not keep up with the amount of iron that just kept coming because we had this on loaded chunk. So yeah, that's a, it's a really good, it, it's, it's real. I should have built this one. Plus it's smaller and it's a little less distracting. It's not like a giant platform you know, just hang, just hanging out and chilling. So I'm nice and prepped up, ready for a flight. I do have a little bit of extra storage. I need to go ahead and throw some stuff in because I just went ahead and made a vibranium pickaxe and then enchanted it. I actually got the Omega unbreaking on this, which is uh, kind of crazy. And then we also got the efficiency and another ef regular efficiency. It's so weird that that's both together, but um, it is what it is. Uh, now, I also have a netherite pickaxe. I haven't enchanted this yet, so I'm going to throw it in here and kind of wait. But everything else I should be able to keep because I am kind of going on a looting adventure. I really want to find out what is in the distance. Like, what is going on over here? Also, we should probably enchant our sword now that I think about it. Like, just before we head out. Because, uh, man, you don't, you don't want to go out without the proper tools. So, sweeping edge, you know what? That's, that's, that's garbage. Let's... You know, eventually we'll have better uh, upgrades. That's more like it. Look at that. Sharpness right there. And unbreaking. I will take that. That is a good sword. Actually, really good sword. And uh, our sword is also going to be what looks like it's throwing us up in the air. <laughs> but it's not. Um, so I'm going to take an adventure. We're going to head off in the northern direction and hopefully find something. Now, I do already know that there is some uh some dungeons over here or something to do with um that pyramid 
So I want to check that out for sure. Uh, but first, I'm going to go ahead and sleep so it's daytime and hope that that pyramid isn't just another spawner of death and doom and destruction. So, of course, what's a trip without doing some flying parkour? Oh, man. And actually, these mountains had this specific thing in mind. Like, this 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 terrain gen literally had the uh, the idea of flying through <laughs> flying through these blocks in mind because honestly once you get an elytra once you have this tool i mean what else is there to do with it other than use it to do some aerial stunts am i right like look at that just, just did a barrel roll and yeah that's the kind of stuff that you can do. Oh, this one's gonna be tight, but we got it. Oh, that's so good. Oh, it's it's good. All right, so here is that pyramid. Now, it does look like there's some uh, goodies on the roof. I don't know what they are, but we're gonna find out. It looks like there's gold blocks on the roof. But is that just a trap? Is there something else in here? I hear lava. Is there... Please tell me there's not a block detector in here with TNT, because... That would be an awful troll. Ooh, okay, so it's some kind... It definitely is like a dungeon. What is it? Am I... Did I enter the wrong way? Like, what? Is this supposed to be like the door? Is this a parkour? <gasps> we have fire resistance. I, I think I went the wrong way. I have no way of knowing, of course, how to get in here. And I hope I didn't break a lot of this. Oh, this is the entrance. Oh, this is definitely some parkour. We've got to do this. Okay. Let me think. Oh, we've technically we would have already died. We would already have been. Yeah. Anyways. I think, yeah, you got to do this. And then this is just a regular jump, like a walk jump. This, however, this is going to be rough. Oh, and we got it. Oh, that was, that was close. And then this is a last minute jump. Another jump. Oh, oh, do we got it? We just did this parkour. Oh, <laughs> yes. Don't be any traps under here, please. Oh. Oh, bottle of enchanting and a crossbow. You bet there better not be any traps. Okay. Advanced alloy from Tech Reborn. A uh, ring of speed. That's going to be fun. And more bottle of enchanting. Okay. That was kind of fun. We did it, though. Like, I can't complain. Like, we got it done. <laughs> A little bit of parkour, and uh, that was actually really satisfying. I mean, at the end, I mean, we just got a couple of things. Like, I'm going to keep those bottles of enchanting, but I'm pretty sure villagers will also trade you for bottles of enchanting. The, uh, the cleric will. So, I don't know what these structures are for other than, like, being safe and providing you with, I don't know, a little bit of textured chiseled sandstone with creeper faces on them. Good old, yeah. Like the, the one block that you would love to have, right? Right in your base. One that signifies the one thing that can destroy your spirit. A creeper. Oh, and uh, we can't not do this. Oh! Oh, yeah. That, that hurt a little bit, but we're okay. We're okay. Ooh, this biome's kind of pretty. I don't exactly know what this biome is, but I, I like it. I, I'm really digging this. This is a secure, a secure log. Ah, I do recognize that. By the way, are these logs like actually this size? Because if so, this has some building potential. Oh, this does. Man, I wish all the trees were like that. Or at least gave you the ability to make them like that. Ooh, that's gonna be nice. I need to get a sapling of this. That's what I want. Cause these are beautiful. This place over here does not look very happy. Wow, this place is destroyed. Look at the variance in blocks though. It looks like somebody just like threw up a bunch of stiff stone variants. 
and obsidian mixed in. I mean, this this biome looks a lot like uh, I don't know what. Would, I mean, there's grass still. Like, if there was no grass, it would definitely feel like desolate and like almost like a meteor had struck and like completely destroyed this whole area. And then it started. And right now, it looks like it started to regrow. Right, come back. But man, this is it's even got like ash. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because this is a volcanic biome that I mean, other than the grass, that totally makes sense. I did notice this off in the distance. Man, having night vision really lets you see underwater. That's crazy. Let's oh, let's dig into this. What? Oh, man, these boats have all have some loot in them. Look at all these banners. Oh, I, I want the banners. I do want the banners. There's chests. Oh, with buried treasure map in them. And books. Like, I needed books. This is going to be nice. This will definitely be nice. Worth it. 100% already worth it. All right. I, I do want... Other than the wool, I want these banners. Because these banners, they, they have a lot of uses, in my opinion. If we break this... There we go. Now we can get all those banners. So right here is our map. Now, I this right here is north. So if we determine that north on the top of our map is going in this direction, then we actually need to probably go this direction in order to get to where we need to go. The good thing is, is I think we can just fly. We probably need to go a little bit um, east like a little southeast-ish from what it looks like and our dot on this map should get a little bit bigger and hopefully start to move the closer we get to this location there it goes so it starts to move and we definitely need to go this way so opposite of north which is going to be south up and there we go we start to uncover where the location is and it looks like it's going to be right over here. Yeah, right in this sandy area. And of course, we got some bad guys. Go ahead and uh, get rid of them. Hey, I want to actually keep my gold helmet. Thank you. Please don't break it. Whew. Good thing we got mending, right? And that just repairs our aglet every time. Oh, this is going to be so nice. We basically have infinite rockets now. So after a quick nap -a rooney we are ready to go. Look at this. All right, so let's line this up with our map. Now, there is a little technique that I've kind of, I, I don't know if I, if this is exact, will work every time. We're gonna try it out. But there is a spot on that X where we should be able to line up our little dot right there. And so if I line this up right about here, I believe like right here, that it should be underneath us somewhere. But the good thing is, is we have the ore excavation. So really, we can just... And it's right underneath us. So I was right. 100% right. If you line up the marker with the back end there, you can see that I'm like lined up perfectly. You can't see any of the white of my marker anymore. That's exactly where the chest was. Wow. And there's a heart of the sea. Heart of the sea ready to go don't really want any of this wood um so i'll take more iron i'll take the tnt the emeralds the gold uh do we want cooked salmon i'll take the uh the color module i still don't know exactly what the color module does but i'm always down to figure it out that's for sure so i just i just stumbled upon this after kind of raiding this village almost like a a, a pillager um i uh <laughs> i did find this uh outposts so that's kind of cool and if we go in here we can make it up to the top and there should be some loot up here just a little bit some bottles of enchanting another crossbow um but we do need to mark where this is at because this is actually kind of important to me so i can go ahead and hit b to set a waypoint and i can say um outpost because these could be used later on um, as a nice way to set up an automatic raid farm. That'd be kind of cool. So I just discovered another treasure map. And uh, this one's actually right exactly where we're at. 
So that's pretty cool. It's it's literally just right over here. So if we try this same technique that we just tried before by lining up like that should potentially work. So I'm lined up right here. This is the block I'm lined up with. Let's line up until we don't see this anymore. And I believe this block is the block. So underneath this block, there should be a chest. Or I could be wrong. I could be lying to you guys. <laughs> it just might be really far under here. Wow, it's actually not. It's not here at all. It's it's over here, so maybe it doesn't work. Maybe you just got to get lucky and it's I don't know. I don't know. Well, with the ore excavator, I guess you can do it. I don't know that right there. I, I, I've been I've tried it several times now and. Uh, two out of the, the three times so far, it's worked. But for this one, it was pretty close. I don't get me wrong. I was actually pretty close to it. Maybe it's got something also to do with what does it look like if I'm standing here? Maybe I was backwards, wasn't I? Oh my gosh. It does. You have to be facing north. If you notice, it does work. But if you're facing this direction, it doesn't. You have to be facing north. Okay. So yeah, that, that does work. It, it's... Yeah, that one that one works. So this village blacksmith ended up having a ring of magnetism. Um, that's not bad. Let's take that, throw it in our ring bag, and uh, find something to throw away, like bones. Because what do we need bones for? We don't. I already have a magnet, but I wonder if this ring is better than this ring or this this magnet. I I don't actually know. What? But I I got I got too much going on right now. What? What? What is this? Wow, this is huge. Let's probably sleep because mobs. <laughs> that way we only have creepers to deal with, right? Uh, also, we can repair our tool. That'd be kind of nice. There we go. And almost fully repaired. Three zombies. There we go. Now we're repaired. What is this, though? Look at all these over. Imagine spawning here. Oh my gosh, is this what I think it is? Is this a mine shaft? A mine shaft that is directly... Wow. Built into this. Now, this is pretty epic. And being surrounded by the water like this, I could picture somebody building a base in something like this. This would be amazing. Okay, so unfortunately, I have mining fatigue, but... I seen this, and this is a prismarine mine shaft. Oh man, we've got to hurry up and get up here. Did you see what's in that chest? Excuse me. Oh, there is so much, so much to mess around with. All right, I've got to, I've got to get this. We don't need these banners. Like, I mean, do I need melon? Do I need this lantern? No. Like, there's so much stuff I just don't need. Do I need these bottles of enchanting? No. Do I need this guy in my way? N no. Get out of here, drowned. I need my dolphin. That's what I need. I need my dolphin ring. There we go. Let's go ahead and give this to our night vision slot. Much better. Wow, we can really go fast. All right, yeah, because we really don't need night vision while we're down here because our eyes will actually adjust. We need to be able to swim, though. All right, so we just get Prismarine down here. A name tag. Um, the ability to breathe underwater would be a little nice. Do we have a water breathing one? I don't think we do. We have water walking. No, we do not have one for water breathing. Hmm. So this over here is a thing. Um, definitely a thing. What is this? Some meteor from the Astro Mine mod. We still have mining fatigue, which kind of sucks because I really want to mine this out. 
Looks like I'll be waiting two minutes. Um, you guys just sit there and uh, and wait. I'll uh, don't worry. I'll, I'll skip all the I'll skip the waiting part. So now that the the effect has worn off, can we mine this? Okay, we can. We can we can excavate it as well. All right, that's good to know. Is there anything spe? Okay, there is stuff special in here. So can we mine this? Um, I did it just did it? Does it just break? Is that what's happening there? Is it just it just breaking? Oh nope, their stuff went down there. There is oh no that's that's the pork chop. So yeah, we are just just breaking it. Uh, does silk touching this work? Is that a thing? No. Okay. So we do need a specific uh, specific pickaxe, and I think that specific pickaxe. It's actually netherite, I think. I think some people have told me that netherite is what you need for this. I, I think. Could be wrong, but I, no, nah, you know I'm never wrong. What am I talking about? So I, I went back, got my stuff, but this right here, I just noticed on my way back. What is this? There's a spawner in here. What? What is this spawning? Drowned? Okay, Mr. Drowned. You're going to die. Do, do drowns that are spawned in these spawners drop tridents by chance? Any chance that's a thing? By the way, I know I could I, I could probably just have stayed in the bubble column and then have unlimited breath. But that wouldn't be as fun. Alright, let's let's break this, by the way. Let's see. What's underneath here? What is this drown sporting? Alright. What do you got up your sleeve? Huh? He's in there. I, I don't know though. I don't I honestly have no idea. I guess it's just some uh some nice spawning mechanics. But anyways, I'm back where I was before, except I'm not at the same time. Um let's see. I need to make my way either to this one or this one. This is the one that I was at. This is the another one that was nearby, so good thing I can swim like a dolphin, huh? Boy, I got some... I must have some some thick legs to be able to swim this fast. So here we are. Let's see if netherite is actually the tool that we are going to need for this. First, break through the, the first layers. Well, I didn't want to... I didn't want water rushing in. Alright, so we broke through the layers. Now we have this, which... Uh, wow, that's actually kind of trippy when you look at it at just the right angle. Almost looks like it's Popping back out at you. Interesting. Anyways, this right here, netherite. Is this the tool? Yes. I told you I was right. I, I knew it from the start. I, I knew that was the right tool. Of course. Of course I did. Of course it's the right tool. <laughs> you know. Anyways, let's go ahead and break all this. Because uh, that's a lot of experience. Every brick. Look at all that experience. We just keep doing this until I guess all of it's gone. I don't honestly know too much about what this material is used for. Um, other than it's a cluster and it creates stuff that we can make stuff with. More and more stuff. Helmets. A hoe. Some leggings. Ooh, armor. Just, uh... Or just, just regular armor. This has toughness and knockback resistance, so... Technically the armor we have on is better. I mean, I would... Yeah, it's definitely better. Well, that's all of it. Um, what... I mean... Honestly, what can we do with it? I mean, we turned it into pretty looking pink blocks. Pinkish purple blocks. Kind of like a purplish, bluish hue. Actually, kind of my favorite... Sort of setup. My, my Go XLR is actually set up with a uh, pink and blue theme. I really do like that. It's almost like retro... Modern retro style. I, I kind of like it. So I'm back at the base, and uh, really, it's just time to uh, throw these in here. I'm going to leave a few because I did see that you need to grind down a few for a spacesuit. And that is one thing, like one use that it's, uh, it has. I also found this walrus hat and this also Fez hat right here. Or sorry, not walrus. The walrus. We should actually probably put the walrus on our head just to see what it looks like. I promise I'll put it back. Look. Uh, oh my god. That. 
That's adorable. It is adorable. It looks like he's got white boogers coming out of his nose. But then again, it is a walrus. But time for the top hat. By the way, once we find, if we find, the double tall top hat or the top top hat, oh, that's definitely going on my head. So remember how I said last episode I was going to take my hammer and sort of upgrade this hammer and combine one? Well, now I have enough levels. Wow, that is a really high efficiency level. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, can I make another hammer? Because I want unbreaking as well. That would be really nice. So, like, another... What is it? I just need to make another obsidian hammer. And then I can combine that hammer with the other hammer. And so, like, this one is going to give me efficiency. Soulbound. I don't like any of those enchants. So, unbreaking. That right there. That's perfect. So, I combine these two together and then combine it with this one. I think we have something special here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. We can't use any of these enchants. Huh. And it's taking the top efficiency as well. Well, I... You know what? I'm actually going to keep this one and I'm going to try and re-enchant another one. And maybe... We can actually get another enchant. I, I, Maybe we can get one that... Like, unbreaking is not going to work. You know what? Hmm. I'm just going to... I don't want to go with it because I know it's not going to be that fast. So hopefully I can enchant now. I did go ahead and gain ah, a few more levels. All right, so this has unbreaking, but it has the Omega on there. And I don't know if Omega stuff is, is moving over. That is, uh, and, and honestly, let's, let's check. Like, I okay, so unbreaking definitely doesn't work with the curse. It's probably a vanilla thing that I, I probably should know. Like, curse stuff doesn't go well. Um, but, so if I clear this out... And I keep striving for, like, efficiency. Like, this this efficiency 2 is honestly good enough. I should be able to throw that on there. That's what I that's what I want, right? I can't. So anything that's the Omega, I'm not able to throw in there. So really, like, this is my best option right here. I'm, I'm going to go with it. I mean, I can always build a super hammer later. Like, I'm not super worried about that. I can build a super hammer. But how how quick is this? Like, it's still kind of slow. It's not even usable. Oh, man. My hopes for this hammer just got flushed down the toilet. So, as always, I want to give another huge shout out to uh, one of my newer patrons. And that is what? What's a 4T? Yes. And then... Bam. Smack that with some green dye. That actually looks pretty good. Uh, but man, today... Today was an adventure. We got a lot done. I, I don't know about you guys, but... I had some fun today. I got some stuff done. Got some enchants done. And learned a little bit about the environment in this world. Some of the terrain gen things. Still haven't found that, uh, that Badlands that I'm really looking for. Because I want to do some builds with some Badlands blocks. But, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did... Of course, be sure to like that, slap that subscribe button if you haven't already, and also give this video a huge thumbs up. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. And as always, thanks for watching.